Good morning guys, I've woken up in Baltimore, USA. I was home for about three days after Brazil. I don't know if you saw my Brazil New Year's trip. I got home for three days and I jumped on another plane, came here to USA. And I'm here for the Under Armour Human Performance Global Summit. Incredible, I cannot wait to um, learn some things, train lots and hang out with the industry's experts from UK, US, and all over the world, and the sponsored athletes from Under Armour. I'm very grateful to be here, but no summit would start without a run. It is 6.30 right now. We're gonna get our trainers on and start this run nice and early before breakfast. And they've just launched this new shoe called the Hover Machina. So we're gonna test these out in the run this morning. Need to do up my laces, but otherwise, looking good i'm not going to take this camera on the run hopefully i'll get a couple of snippets on my phone otherwise i'll catch up with you after the run and hopefully after breakfast beautiful morning run all the way around this massive park the group very big group out this morning and we're very spaced out now A lovely morning run i'm feeling good we did five miles i've had a quick turnaround shower and now i'm meeting the group um, to head over to under armor hq uh, to have breakfast hopefully bloody starving it's a really nice area of baltimore anyway so we're going to get on a water taxi now to go to under armor hq which is across the water over there i'd love to come and play some b-ball here that is so cool. Look at that giant, the rock. Wow, that opening talk was just so incredible. And the massive shock that Michael Phelps was the opening talk and so inspiring. I was sitting there just getting so pumped up. And it wasn't just the sacrifices for training. The real work is what happens outside of the pool. The recovery sessions, the nutrition, the hours of sleep that I needed to keep up. If I wanted to do something that nobody had ever done, then I had to do work different than everybody else was. All the negativity I faced, you can't win eight gold medals. You won't be anything. All the times Bob would stress test me, smashing my goggles just to see how I would react. I turned those doubts and challenges into fuel. But I didn't need any extra motivation. I wanted to win. I had to win. But most important of all, I didn't want to lose. Did I meet all of my goals? No. In fact, when I won eight gold medals in Beijing, I actually didn't hit two of my goal times. That's because success isn't proving yourself to others. Whether it's standing on the podium or proving the doubters wrong, it's about rising to the challenges you set for yourself, satisfying that fundamental urge to see how far you truly can push yourself, to test the limits of what you can achieve. That's where true, true greatness lies. Because the training, the competitions, the recovery, the long nights and early mornings, we do this because we have something to prove to ourselves. That through hard work, dedication, and perseverance, we can break down any barrier and overcome any obstacle. Everything you want is right there for the taking. The only way is through. With the launch of the statement, or the slogan, or the platform, the only way is through. You're the work. It's dirty work. It's work that hurts. Work that defines you. It's that fire that burns inside you. One more. Be you. It's always been you.
that just resonates so much with me and to so many athletes and to so many everyday normal people who train and that is that you just got to keep pushing through and the Under Armour makes you better and I just feel really proud to be sponsored and a part of Under Armour because they have the message that I truly believe in as well. So yeah, this is just so exciting to be here. And we got to hear from the new CEO as well about the future plans, as well as hearing interviews by some top Under Armour athletes as well. The original Under Armour t-shirt. What an incredible story. So now we're just going through a full body assessment on your mobility, how your body moves, and you get a little results sheet at the end as well. Apparently I had the best score that she's had so far. She's been doing this for like eight hours all day yesterday, so I'm pretty happy. I didn't think I was that mobile, but I, apparently not so bad, even after getting on that long uh, eight hour flight yesterday as well. You know, obviously, the reason that your knees had the, quote, lowest score in feet is because yes. they were turned out. Mm -hmm. And when you did squat, your knees jetted out with your pinky toes. Mm -hmm. They didn't stay in line with the middle toe. Mm -hmm. So most people say if you're squatting with your toes out, keep the knee in line with the center of the foot, mm -hmm. which is totally fine that you went out because your foot didn't lift, meaning supinate. Just the yep. knees went in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where that knee and ankle mobility come in, and that's yes. where some of the stretches you're going to have are. Up Calm. top, yeah. you seem pretty pretty loose, yeah, a little okay. tight through thoracic, yeah. but not bad. I mean, especially when we did the mobility um, through the thoracic spine, you were fine. Mm -hmm. So Fantastic. So we've come to another location called The Lighthouse. This is all about innovation, new products. So we're not going to be able to film anything. Giving our phones in, giving the camera in, no filming. One thing I love about this HQ is the imagery everywhere. All the photos are so inspiring. Seeing like top athletes in nice aesthetic photos, training hard. All day I've just been wanting to train. We are on our way to go training now, thankfully, because I've been buzzing to do some workouts all day long. So we've got ourselves involved in this boxing workout. Got some rowing, skipping, a lot of boxing going on there. That's the station we were just on. And some circuit training with some balls and weights over there. What a day, what a day, that was incredible. Okay, back home, or oh, home? At the hotel, ah, oh, isn't that nice? Back at the hotel, quick turnaround, dinner tonight, and then another big day tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get a good night's sleep. Okay, good morning, it's 5.30, slept pretty well. This is the hotel gym at Four Seasons, pretty nice, got some good equipment, and I'm training with Tom, Nick, and Josh from Under Armour. Wow, look at today. Today is beautiful. So sunny and bright. Anyway, this morning started with a small talk from the Vice President talking about um, the performance system, the assessments they go through with the athletes, the world-class athletes that they have at Under Armour and what they go through with them to innovate with their incredible products. Our innovation is stronger than ever right now. But we use the athletes. The athletes make us better. We're learning every single day from the athletes about what we need to build. He introduced us to what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day with a few more talks. Very exciting stuff coming. The place is cool. Wow. What an awesome facility. I think this is an old bank, I heard them say. Converted into a gym. This is ridiculous. Today was absolutely incredible. The morning was jam-packed, full of education. Listening to the world's experts in some of these fields, we went through different classes in movement and nutrition and mindfulness in the most incredible training facility that was this old bank built into this incredible gym. And it's clear that Under Armour are rooting themselves in this level of knowledge to help 
the everyday athlete to help us get better in the whole journey of training, competing, recovering. So grateful to be a part of this event and I was there sitting like a little sponge just trying to absorb as much knowledge as possible. And check these out, the Tri-Base Rain 2s. Massive improvements in all aspects from the Rain 1s. Very comfortable, very good looking. And I cannot wait to get started in workout two of the day. It's gonna be a CrossFit workout where these are perfect for. Starting the warm up with koala challenges. Come on, son. Epic, epic workout. One thing that this trip is doing for me is making me so motivated to just get training and keep training. I just want to train, 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 get home and carry on this journey. That was a workout, very much a CrossFit type workout with James Newbury, who's a CrossFit athlete, number four in the world in 2019 last year. So it was good to be coached by him. Now we're out just doing a few things before we get the coach back to the hotel before dinner. Yeah. Morning workout going down in the hotel. Look at this workout crew. Everyone's here getting that morning workout going. <laughs> well, Sophie's finished having a foam roll. Under Armour have set up this recovery room in the hotel. So let's go check it out. Hey. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm Angel. I'm Alex. Nice, nice to meet you, Angel. You're Alex. having a busy morning. So busy now. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, can you explain what we've got going on in here? Yeah, Normatech boots are basically compression boots and they help with blood flow and also to pump lactic acid fluid back up to your heart so you're less sore. So I can feel an intense kind of building up of pressure like there's no space left, and then it releases off, and we're going through cycles of that. Yeah. The percussion guns? Yeah, yeah, if you think of it this way, your muscle has sensors in it. Two of those sensors, one of them's vibration, like Angel was saying, one of them's deep pressure. Mm. So when your body feels that, it's kind of like a shock to your system, like, oh, I have to relax. Ah, so that's why overdrive. Foam, some people really like foam rolling, yeah. or especially like using- So it's like fibers. foam rolling, but better. Yeah. Yes. You get, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because it's working pressure and vibration. Yeah. And then the juve light therapy yeah. is basically just like an infrared light. Wow. Um, so on, you know, like our lighting spectrum, um, we have the reds all the way to like the blues and violets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're all different wavelengths. And they're all different yeah. wavelengths and they affect us. I actually have been reading a lot about lights nice. <laughs> recently. <laughs> And um, like the red um, UV portion of the light spectrum is the one that helps us heal and restore and regenerate. Yeah. And we don't get nearly enough of that in our day to day because yeah. we're now lit up with artificial lights. Yeah. And we're indoors a lot, so we don't get the natural sun. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. All right. It doesn't matter which way you face, like it does not. Ross and friends. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that was so nice, especially just before a flight as well. And then I had some physio on my shoulder too. Feeling good and now ready for breakfast. Check this out. Some rancho suevos and some oats. Another beautiful day. We are blessed with this Baltimore weather. We thought it was going to be so cold. Brought loads of like coats and stuff, but it's beautiful. Loving it out here. Anyway, last night was incredible, right? The most amazing moment happened. We're talking to the, the owner, the founder of Under Armour on stage before dinner. And uh, he was talking some lots of um, really inspiring um, stuff. And then he was just talking about the influ influencers that are on this trip with us and he said the top three influencers um, with the most engaged posts on that day and then he said my name <laughs> in front of all these people it was incredible so now I'm like walking around the hotel and people are like oh you're Alex Crawford well done with your top engagement anyway 
That was a bit of a, a mind-blowing moment. Um, the trip has come to an end. It's been an amazing trip. I still can't quite believe that I'm a part of opportunities like this. A year ago, I still I wasn't even sponsored by Under Armour. It was like April uh, last year that I started to build a relationship with Under Armour to, to this strength and then to be a part of this opportunity like this and to make my relationship with Andrama stronger and stronger. It's very exciting for me and I'm excited for the future and hope that it continues to, to grow and build. And I've been spending a few days alongside incredible athletes as well as people that I've looked up to in the industry, in Under Armour and friends that I've met before from London. It's just been amazing. I'm completely behind their message of the only way is through and just it just makes so much sense. It resonates with us all, whatever you're going through in life, not just in training, but in life. You just got to go through it. You can't go around it. You can't go over it. You've got to go through it. You just got to keep going. So if you're watching this now, this is your message for 2020. Just got to go through through the only way is through so that is it for now got to get the long flight home back to London make sure you're following along with this journey and future videos as well as Instagram of course if you're not following me on Instagram then please do I'm posting a lot of Under Armour stuff and workouts and tips for you to get better so please give this video a thumbs up click subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys later on bye bye